How to use Webflow templates. Hello guys and welcome to today's video. For today's video, we will be talking about how you could use your Webflow templates. Now before we start, what are Webflow templates? Webflow templates are pre-designed website layouts that you could use as a starting point for building your own website. They are created by professional designers and developers offering a range of styles and functionalities to suit different industries and purpose. Using Webflow templates can save you a time and effort in designing and coding your website from scratch. They provide you with a solid foundation and visually appealing design that you can customize to match your brand and content. Whether you're creating a personal portfolio, an e-commerce site, or a corporate website, there are Webflow templates available for various needs. To use Webflow templates, you'll need to sign up for a Webflow account and access the Webflow Designer. From there, you can browse the Webflow template marker page or choose from the available templates in the Webflow dashboard, which we will show you in a bit. Webflow templates provide a flexible and powerful platform for creating professional-looking websites without requiring coding knowledge. They offer a range of features such as responsive designs, customizable interaction, and SEO optimization. With Webflow's visual editor and CMS capabilities, you can easily manage your website's content and make updates as needed. Now, let's get started. Now, the first thing you need to do first is, of course, go to webflow.com. Now, over here, what you're going to do on their website is simply click on Start Building. And then after that, you will be able to go to this pop up over here or like this page that we are seeing right now and you will be able to start or create your account by simply typing in your work email over here and clicking on continue now after creating your account this is where you will find yourself we are currently in the dashboard of webflow as you can see here i have two random starter websites that i have all the website that you will be creating will be found over here on your workspace this is a starter workspace where I can see the websites that I have created so far. To be able to delete or edit some website, you can simply click on the three dots over here. You could either delete, duplicate, move to folder, share, or open the editor, which is where you will be able to edit your different websites or click on settings to be able to see the settings on that specific website. Now, how do we create and use different templates on our web flow? We use templates, like I said earlier, to help you save time and effort instead of coding your own designs. So to be able to use templates, you're simply going to click on new site, which would allow you to create a new website. And before, and the first thing you're going to have to do is to create or choose a template. As you can see here, also you have reached the limit of two unhosted sites on your starter work plan. So we're going to delete one for now. So we're going to go back. And we're going to delete one of our starter website over here. Click on the three dots and click on delete. We're going to have to type this below just like this and delete forever. And now we can create another site. So we're going to click on new site. And now as you can see, the message is no longer there. Now over here, what we are seeing right now are the different templates available in Webflow. Some are free. And some are paid, as you can see here, we have $49, $49, $79, and some are free over here also. You will be able to see all the different templates available from you to shared work templates, to free templates, to e-commerce templates, agency templates, restaurant templates, landing page templates, UI kit templates, and different tags over here, as you can see. You will be able to use different types of templates depending on what you need it for. For example, you're trying to create an e-commerce website. Of course, you're going to go to the e-commerce templates over here where you're going to see all the different templates available for e-commerce design, which is focused on e-commerce theme. Now, some of this, like what you are seeing right now, is paid. And as you can see here, it will cost $79 for us to use an e-commerce template. Now, some over here are free. So we're going to check out all the different free templates that we could use over here we're going to click on view all and these are the different free templates that we could use right now you could sort them or filter them by different tags over here you could click on popular tags let's see if there are free templates that we could use for agency we're going to click on agency and as you can see here 
unfortunately i don't think we have any free and all of this are paid as you can see here a uh, 49 dollars 129 dollars it's pretty much paid so we're going to adjust our filters once like once again so that we will be able to see and check out free specifics uh, so let's see if they have free specific type over here now unfortunately i don't think we have the filter to adjust our templates right now to free but as you can see here on the left side we have different popular tags if ever we want to create for agency blog designer multi layout one page photography portfolio real estate restaurant startup and ui kit over here you could also choose from the different categories over here like design business technology blog and all of those different options that we are seeing right now you can also check out the styles over here the features the type and you could also click on all tags over here to be able to see all the different tags available which is what we are seeing earlier now what we're going to do is we're going to go with the free template for now and i'm going to show you what the editor would look like after you select a template for example we're going to go with this first one over here we're going to click this and to be able to use the specific template you're simply going to click on use for free now as you can see here also on this section we have the different tags this design for your website is for blogs news cms and for membership you could see more samples over here below different features of what it would look like different information like license support and faq over here now what we're going to do is we're going to click on use for free so that we will be able to use this template for our design now we're going to name our site we're going to name it testing for now and click on create site and just like that we are now currently on the editing page of webflow this is what the editing page would look like as you can see here this is the template that we have selected hovering over the different elements you will be able to see some boxes meaning you will be able to edit the specific sections of the specific page as you can see for example we have this heading over here it's being highlighted with a box and has a label of heading 3 you can simply click this double click and you will be able to edit the content of this specific element that i have selected you could edit the heading type over here different things you can see here you will have an option over here over here on the right side you will be able to see all the different settings all the different properties of the specific element that we have selected right now and you can simply look over all the different settings right here and if ever you don't like what you are seeing here you can simply edit it on this right side over here as you can see here also we have our heading our body over here our section and like more photos over here uh premium content section right here and subscribe to newsletter which is the footer over here you will be able to see all the different parts of this template as you can see here below we have body page wrapper section container default and grid to columns over here you could also add more elements to the page by clicking on the plus button and you could click on elements and you will be able to see all the different elements we have available in webflow that you could add your design over here you're simply going to click and drag just like that and you will be able to add whatever design or whatever element that you have chosen as you can see here i have added a button and it will appear on our page over here and we can simply edit the location of this depending on the settings over here on the right side we're going to look for the location we're having some errors so we're going to ignore that for now and you could see here also you could add some components you could add some navigators you could see the pages the cms the users the e-commerce section over here and the assets over here you could check out the settings in this section like a general settings for your design for your website you could also click over here on the top to change the different views of your website you could view it from like a wide angle a uh, computer size a laptop size over here a tablet this is what you would see or this is what your website would look like on a tablet you have a side for a sideways landscape mode over here for a mobile and this is the mobile version and that's how you could use your templates you can simply choose them and edit them and adjust them to your needs and put in the different contents that you would like to have on your page and after doing that you can simply click on publish over here on the top right and you will be able to publish your website hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching